Understanding Lingering Pain, a Guide for English Learners. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the meaning and usage of the phrase, lingering pain. This phrase is often used in both literary and everyday contexts, and understanding it can greatly enhance your English comprehension and expression skills. Lingering pain refers to a type of discomfort or pain that continues for a long time, often beyond the expected period of healing. Unlike acute pain, which is sharp and intense but short-lived, lingering pain is more about a persistent, dull ache or discomfort that stays with you. It can be both physical, like a chronic injury, or emotional, like the sadness from a loss that stays with you for a long time. To better understand lingering pain, let's look at some examples. Physical, after the surgery, she experienced a lingering pain in her knee that made walking difficult. Emotional, even years after the breakup, he felt a lingering pain in his heart. These examples show how the phrase can be applied to different types of long-lasting pain. The phrase is often used to describe a situation or feeling that is not just temporary. It's important in language because it helps to convey the duration and intensity of the pain. When you say, lingering pain, it immediately tells the listener that this is not a fleeting discomfort, but something more prolonged and possibly profound. Lingering pain can also be used metaphorically to describe long-lasting effects of events or actions. For example, the lingering pain of the economic recession was felt by the entire community. Here, it's not about physical or emotional pain, but about the lasting impact of an event. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, lingering pain, and how it's used in English. Remember, it's a powerful phrase that conveys not just pain, but its persistence and impact over time. Keep practicing, and you'll soon be using it like a native speaker. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.